the timeline of Prince. In 2021, Joshua probably did one of his biggest mistakes. He gave this motherfucker had happened. So in simple terms, he could A, either be a good head admin, or B, go on a banning rampage. And well, let's just say he chose option B. But ho ho ho, little did we know, Joshua came back with a little surprise. He smites the Holy Spirit out of him with a ban. And uh, yeah, after that, his ass wasn't seen for a good while. I'm still me, I stay automatic. Money add then multiply, I call it man for mathematics. So basically, we're just gonna keep this one simple and quick. Uh, Priest gave Prince 100 Robux to start his own group. Which, well was obviously a terrible idea. You're gonna learn why that was a bad idea further in the video. I'm gonna just be quite honest, this was probably one of the most disrespectful wars the group has ever had. This was not a fighting war, this was more of a just, um... ROASTING WAR. You deadass would go on the group wall and just see either a junk bot cult high rank or prince just spitting the most nefarious roast the planet has ever seen but uh not only were people roasting the life out of each other but um yeah prince was making false claims about the group too huh yeah bro was saying some weird shit like we was hiding dark secrets like minecraft youtubers hide their obsession for kids Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, it wasn't just us he was roasting, um, yeah, he was also roasting his own members. When I saw that, I was in just pure disbelief. And, uh, that's why I said it was a bad idea giving that MF 100 Robux. Yeah, but then, uh, one day he just randomly just stopped for a good while. Yeah, then once he stopped, it was just calm. He wasn't around, it was just calm. So yeah, I guess that wraps up that part. Is that the Grim Reaper? Hmm. <laughs> oh boy. And now we're pretty much caught up. If you thought the Junkbot Country War was absolutely vile, Oh, you're in for a treat. The things two specific people that will be unnamed did to that man's group and account is disgusting. Let's just say in simple terms, they manipulated the soul out of his body. And what they did to his poor games were absolutely vile. They went into his games and inserted the most disgusting stuff you can think of. And then one day, both him and his group vanished from the platform. Both him and his group were now no longer visible to the human eye like EDP's YouTube channel. And dear god, his allies were more devastated than my reaction to Tony Stark's death. And when that boy found out, he went sicko mode all over the place and lost his bananas. He made a new account and ranted like crazy. But by that point, all that was left was scraps. And that concludes the timeline of Prince. Also, don't ask me when One Night in the Cave is gonna be unprivated. It's coming out soon, I promise. Please, believe me.